The broadcaster, Diane Louise Jordan, has spoken out about the use of harassment notices after she was issued with them. The police are conducting a review into the way they're used as a result of criticism from some MPs. Well, our reporter, Sancho Berg, went to see Diane Louise Jordan to hear about her experience. Diane Louise Jordan, who Hello. presents Songs of Praise, has just moved to the country to be closer to her daughter and grandchildren. Her daughter split up with her husband last year, and Diane Louise Jordan blames this family dispute for claims of harassment, which she says are groundless. She's now speaking publicly because Cambridgeshire Police served her with harassment notices, one last year, one a few weeks ago. Both have been very widely publicised. At this point, I felt that I really had to do something about it because now we were getting comments back from the public that that they were believing that I actually was, was aggressive, that I did attack this person. Anybody that knows me knows that's not even my style. I don't, I just don't behave like that. So it's so out of character anyway. It's, it's quite upsetting sometimes when you know you're not like that. Harassment notices have no legal standing. They're very different from harassment orders, which are issued by a judge. Police can serve notices as a result of complaints. They do not have to investigate whether the complaint is true. Both allegations were made by the new partner of Diane Louise Jordan's estranged son-in-law. The first complaint was that Diane Louise Jordan had assaulted and verbally abused her. Diane Louise Jordan says this is untrue. When the police came to my house, I was living in London at the time, when they came to my house, I had no idea why the police were on my doorstep. They assured me that issuing this notice was not them saying that, that, that there was any guilt on my part, simply that somebody had made a complaint and this notice was just to let me know. And so because I thought there was nothing to it, it was a bit of a fag, but I, I signed it. But then when it went in the papers as well, I mean, you know, you're a public figure, this would affect the way people see you. If it's not true, wouldn't it have been a good idea to go out there immediately and say, this isn't true? At that time, my daughter and my son-in-law were in the midst of their separation. And the advice that I had from our solicitors was to actually be very careful what I said in public. Then, last month, she was served a second notice, which cited three new claims of harassment. Again, the press were alerted. One paper ran the story on its front page with the headline, Songs of Rage. Diane Louise Jordan maintains she hasn't spoken to the woman for a year, and that she can demonstrate parts of the claim are untrue. For instance, one day when she was alleged to have attacked the woman in Cambridge. The truth was I was actually in London. I'd been in London the day before recording my um, Sunday hour show for Radio 2. I'd stayed over at Friends. I've got evidence of where I went, you know, because I, I went out for a meal. I made phone calls. My car was in London. The next day I was in, you know, there's absolute evidence that I was in London until quite late the day that I was supposed to have attacked her at 10 o'clock in the morning in Cambridge. She's made a complaint to the police Cambridgeshire Police said, We have reviewed all available material relating to these allegations and are now in the process of conducting further inquiries and investigating the sequence of events reported to the police. We are therefore unable to comment on the detail of the investigation at this time. I was not able to reach the young woman, but she told the Daily Mirror that she stood by her claims. Her partner, Miss Jordan's estranged son-in-law, said the couple just wanted to move on with their lives. Harassment notices and police information notices, known as PINs, are relatively new. They're intended to work as warnings and prevent crimes. But they've been widely criticised, their use as being reviewed. Last month, the MP Tim Lawton told the world at one they were being misused. This is really lazy uh, policing. They've been used as a, as a soft option. But there are inherent faults within these uh, PINs. There is no right of appeal and the existing procedures are not being followed um, properly. The fact that somebody can be issued with a PIN notice without even knowing that they're under investigation, let alone having a chance to defend their actions, is absurd. These notices can have a serious impact on people's lives, as they can appear on checks carried out by employers and other organisations. That's why Diane Louise Jordan decided to challenge those issued to her. They absolutely directly affect me and my work. And that's one of the reasons this time round where I knew that I had no choice but to do something about it. Diane, 
Uh, that was Sancho Berg there. The time is now six minutes to seven. David Cameron says.